Welcome to this tutorial on installing camera traps for wildlife monitoring. In this video, we'll go over a few general principles of camera trapping to help you get the most out of your project. Number 1. Camera Trap Placement It's quite common to find a good, sturdy tree and use that as the base with which to attach your camera. Use the straps that come with your camera to wrap it around the tree and fix the camera in place. The best way to place your camera will depend on the species that you are targeting. Most commonly, cameras are set between 20 and 50 centimeters in height. As a rule of thumb, the height of the camera should be set to target the core mass of the species you are after. As well as strapping the camera to a tree, you may want to consider using a small stake. This means that you're not reliant on finding a tree at your study site, but it does mean that you're going to have a lot of extra gear to lug around. Cameras can also be set up vertically facing down at the ground. This has the advantage of standardising the camera's detection zone, which may be important for some statistical analyses. Number 2. Photography Camera trapping is a form of photography, so the basic principles of photography should apply. Make sure the camera is flat and stable and won't move around. Make sure it doesn't face directly into the sun, as this will make poor images and can sometimes cause a lot of false triggers. In the southern hemisphere, facing your cameras to the south will help reduce the chance that they're facing into the sun. Number 3. Avoiding false triggers. False triggers use up battery life, memory space, and make data analysis take much longer, so anything to avoid them is a good idea. The best way to reduce their impact is to trim vegetation in the monitoring area. That way you don't end up watching hours upon hours of branches blowing in the wind. Number 4. Camera Deployment The length of time you leave the cameras out in the field will depend on the study species and the time frame for your project. Ideally, the longer the better. However, this also means that you'll have more photos to process, and that may not always be practical. In general, around two to four weeks is common. 